Hello everybody, welcome back. And there's a sense of excitement in the air today, yes? I'm sorry, no knotting tutorial, but we have an unboxing. And this particular parcel has come all the way from Australia, Australia, we love you. Okay, I did get a little bit of a heads up that it was heading towards me. Um, a guy called Philip has sent me this little package and I thought what I would do was open it up in front of you just to see exactly what I'm getting. And it's a little bit exciting for me. It might not be for you, but it is for me. So anyway, what we're going to do now is I'm going to open it. Nice little package. Not sure the best way of getting into it. Ah, at the top side there. So let's just open that up at that point there. Open up again at this point here. Yeah, I want to rip it open because, well, I'm hoping it's something good. If, if, if this video doesn't come out, well, you'll never know and I've been very disappointed. Oh, I hate doing that with my good knife. Um, gosh, getting into, into it isn't the easiest in the world, but there again, it has traveled a fair distance. And let's see, get it under there. And there we go. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a little peek, a little sneaky peeky in there. And I can see something that I rather like. Let's open it up. There we go. And then open it up some more. And look what I've been sent. It probably doesn't look that good. Well, let's take the first layer off. So put that box out of the way there. And I've been, I've obviously been sent a note with it. Hang on, you gotta, you gotta put your nose in as well and smell it because I can see instantly, instantly. Look at this. Whoa, look at that and the feel of it. Gosh, that is, that is lovely. That is two millimeter, two millimeter. It's a very hard lay. I like hard lay. Hard lay is wonderful. Look at that. Even a little bracelet with it. Loving it. Absolutely superb. Some more cordage in there. Obviously sending me different colours. Company is Blood Knot. This is 3mm. And look at the difference. The, I love these. I don't... Let's see if we can... I'll, I'll put, get some photos of these as well. But the cordage is rather lovely. Instead of just... A single tone colour. Okay, this one's just brown, but this one here, it's got a, it's got a mixture in here, and it just gives that cordage a lovely effect. I'm sure, if that was made into a bell rope or something like that, it would have a rather nice antique look to it. Last time I did a box opening video was um, Miko Snellman's um, rope work, and. People said, how could I be so excited about getting rope? But I am excited about getting rope cordage, stuff like that. And for those, okay, this is a massive, let me just highlight a massive problem. A massive problem is if you are in traditional knot work using cordage, natural cordage, etc., getting hold of the stuff is a massive, massive problem. Even here in the UK, Getting hold of it, we have to go outside the UK to get hold of it. And usually, Miko Snellman is, is where we go for it. And so, look, if you have problems, wherever you live, leave me a comment down below. Tell me where you live and tell me how hard it is to get hold of cordage, good quality cordage, so that you can do natural knot work. Paracord, yeah. But once again, paracord, you get good and bad paracord. And so paracord is a little bit easier to get hold of. But please, <coughs> excuse me, do leave me a comment down below and tell me your experiences in getting hold of good quality cordage and where you get it from. Let others know where you get it from so that, you know, you know. We now know there is a brilliant, I'm, without even going any further, feeling this, I now know there is a brilliant supplier in Australia, Australia, we love you. I don't know where that came from, but I always like saying that because I do love Australia. I used to live there many years ago. And so I do have a hankering or I do love that country. And here's some very small cordage. 
beautiful. Just feeling it feels wonderful. And then, oh, so anyway, I've got a note here. Let's read the note here because it could be rude. Hi, John. Hope you like my cord and find a use for it. If you do tie something with it, I'd love to see some pictures. I'm fairly new at this and I am self-taught, so learning. Any feedback will be appreciated. My cord twister was developed and built by myself. I don't have Miko's skill as a craftsman, so it's pieced together mostly with bicycle parts and uses a very noisy electric drill as a motor. I'm currently working on my Mark II machine. Hopefully it will be a bit quieter. So he's obviously suffering with noise, but let me tell you this. Let's just go on to this. Feeling this, brilliant quality. Loving it, loving it. Absolutely loving it. I'm interested in doing subtle colour mixes and I like the texture it gives the cord. If the contrast in the mix is too great, it starts to look like camouflage. This makes it hard to see the definition in the knotting. Yep, totally agree. And knotting is, of course, the whole point of the exercise. I have a few jewellers using my cord, so for them, the colour can work. For knotters, though, I will probably develop some basic colours and add to that some brighter colour mixes that can be used for accenting Turks' heads and the like. There's my bit of a mix bag here, just to give you a feel. And my workshop is still in progress, but it's, it is up and running, albeit it's a very small and simple way. And I'll, what I'll do is there's a link in here, and I'll put that link in the description below in the video for you to see as well. And then there's also something else here, um, let's have a look. The blood knot, the double overhand knot. Yet, yeah, it's also giving me some more information here. And what I will do is I will scan that and put a link to this particular page here. But let's get back to what I've been sent. Oh, and the dog's just gone mad for someone. So anyway, here is my cordage. And look, I've got another bag here. And that's, that's it. Box is empty. Boo. But anyway, oh just let's open it up and have a look I must say instantly instantly I do love it and I love the choice of colors okay he or he does have an Instagram account and I'll put a link into the Instagram account as well oh it's beautiful just feeling it is beautiful and it's hard lay and how do I know it's hard lay because you can feel it one thing you'll notice is that when you have a nice hard lay rope it's the standout the standout that matters, okay? That when you have a nice hard lay rope, it stands out, and when you feel it in your hands, you put pressure on it and it doesn't squish, okay? That is a sign of a good quality cord. And I know for a fact that this cordage here, oh, another one in here, look at that color there. And look, I'm so distracted by the colors, the denim color, that's, I love it. Just absolute, that's lovely, absolutely fantastic. And I do know there's other colors available. I've seen them on his Instagram post. Um, and he also has a YouTube channel where he does some knotting videos and I'll put a link into his YouTube channel as well. So for all of you in Australia or nearby, I can't imagine anything else isn't, oh, New Zealand is nearby. This is, seriously, seriously, this would be your go-to person to get your cordage from. I love it. Just feeling it. It's so hard. I love it. And it's so well wrapped, presented, well wrapped. You know, little samples here. It's beautiful. And here's that mixture one again. Just does look good. Looks absolutely, it looks antique, almost that cordage in a sense that, you know, it's had some usage in it. And to be honest, compare this. I've got Mika Selman's, Nelman's cord here. This is the cord that Miko has done for me in the past. Miko's cord is absolutely perfect and beautiful. And once again, so impressed. This standard here is perfect and beautiful. You know, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And the smell. I love the smell as well. And I love the I also love the fact that somebody has taken the time to make a machine and from that machine has then produced absolutely superb 
quality cordage here. This is four millimeter, nice thick cordage here. We've got three millimeter, we've got 2.7. I assume, <laughs> here we go. I assume it's 2.7 because he didn't know exactly what size he was going to be getting when he made this. That's my guess here, okay? And then we've got three millimeter here. You know, just wonderful, wonder and some finer stuff here, probably about one and a half, one millimeter here. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely, I can't I can't stress enough as to how wonderful it is. And you see here, this is um, some Miko Snellman cordage here, and it makes a wonderful Turk's head knot on the end of my knife here. And this cordage here will do that as well. So yeah, to be honest, I am so pleased with my little opening here of um, a box from Australia. And yeah, I love it. I really, really love it. So, you know, once again, whatever country in the world you... I know America. Um, a lot of Americans watch um, my videos. And I know for a fact you also have problems getting hold of cordage. You know, so, you know, whatever country you're in, down below, tell me what your cordage problems are, what you do to solve it, who your favourite supplier is. And seriously, looking at this stuff here, this will become some people's favourite supplier of natural cordage. It's beautiful when I touch it. You know, John, you're going on too much. But listen, everything with regards to this guy, this Philip, from Philip, his cordage here, all the links will be in the description down below. So please do have a look at his, he's got a YouTube channel, he's got an Instagram account, and there's also, a, there'll be also a link to something called bloodknot.bigcartel.com where I believe you can actually go ahead and purchase this stuff from. And what I'm gonna do is in the future, like I did with Miko's um, cordage, I'm gonna make some things with it and I will show you those things when I've done it and I'll it, hopefully I'll also do tutorials as I'm going along and I'll mention the fact that I am using Philips cordage here so anyway once again thank you so much for watching and oh I'm gonna put my bracelet on and that's a nice little touch as well I just love here we go I just love that little touch that I've got a nice little bracelet that's been sent to me with the cordage as well. When Miko sent me his stuff, he sent me a nice little knot card with beautiful Matthew Walker knots on showing the different sizes of cordage that you can get. And here's a nice, this nice little touch is I've been given something that's useful as well. So anyway, once again, thanks everybody for watching. Please do give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Yes, it was a box opening and pretty boring. Don't give me a thumbs down for that. Just relish in the fact that there is another supplier of quality cordage out there. So once again, thanks for watching and see you again next time. Bye-bye.